Virginia is facing a shortage of nurses that experts are worried could worsen existing health care divides. The number of registered nurses was growing by a couple of percentage points each year heading into the pandemic. But in 2021, the number of full-time RNs employed in the U.S. fell by 3.2%. In Virginia, we're short thousands of nurses. And Old Dominion University's new State of the Commonwealth report says that's going to get worse. Bob McNabb is an economist at ODU and helped author that study. He's worried about the growing gap between rural and urban areas. There are pockets of the Commonwealth where there really are no medical services. One big bottleneck is the hands-on clinical part of nursing education. Fewer working nurses with more on their plates means less time for them to show nursing students the ropes. Governor Glenn Youngkin's budget proposal includes $45 million to expand clinical opportunities and get more nurses trained and licensed. We are going to accelerate the rebuilding of the nursing pipeline so that we can care for one another. McNabb says addressing training issues is a good first step, but wages and working conditions will need to improve to attract and keep nurses. Ryan Murphy, WHRO News.